Hickok 45 here, a little more archery action. We've got the uh, longbow, actually it's a hybrid longbow by Hummingbird. I uh, had a few folks when I did the first video, it must have been a year and a half, two years ago with this bow. Uh, kind of doubt that it's a longbow. Well, they're generally called a longbow, even though it's a modern longbow. You know, hybrid is what generally people call them. And uh, whatever it is, it's a lot of fun. And it's my favorite bow. It is uh, by Hummingbird, the Kingfisher longbow. It's uh, 50 pounds at 28 inches. If uh, you know what that means, you know, at a 20 inch, 28 inch draw, it pulls 50 pounds. And for me, that means it's 55 or 60 pounds. And it's 66 inches long. And it's a beautiful bow, as you can see. It's the same uh, uh, wood that the recurve has. It's just a beautiful uh, piece of artwork by Ben Graham of Hummingbird Bows. This was my first bow from him about oh, oh, 10 years ago, I guess. Okay, we're going to take a few shots here. We're going to do a little bit of a woods walk. This is something I enjoy doing. Just grab the bow. No ears. Don't need the ears. Just need to turn my hat around and uh, shoot some targets. And I have targets through the through the woods over here in a circle. And we're just going to kind of work through. And you're just going to kind of see what I do, you know. And uh, I'm going to I'll yak a little bit and show you what fun this is. For those of you who have any interest in archery, this is just a lot of fun. Now I might miss, I might hit, but we're going to play a little bit. I've got several archery targets set up. Oops, low left. Let's try that turkey over there. All right, we'll just take one of these guys and then we'll go pick up our arrows. Again, the target is so important to the archery. Hey Gunner, you can come with us on this one, so don't you stay away from the target. <laughs> you wanna come with us, Gunner? Yeah, no gunfire, no gunfire. Sorry, turkey, I didn't mean to stick an arrow in you. All right, let's move on to the next target. This has been my woods walk for quite a while. We've been meaning to take you on this for quite a while. We just haven't done it. Oh, we got a big buck down in there. I think that's a mule deer. What do you think, Gunner? What's he look like? Ah, let's take a shot at him. Let's take another one. Rapid fire. There we go. <laughs> Retrieve those arrows, Gunner. You're a retriever. Come on. Now this is just an old, uh, uh, well, I'm not sure what it's made of. Some kind of plastic, nylon, ugly, meant to hang out. This has been hanging out here for uh, uh, eight, ten years or more. And uh, it's a great archery target. And I just put these burlap covers on it like this. You can get these various places, not everywhere. Uh, three, let's see, Three Rivers Archery is where I get them. And uh, it's just burlap and kind of fastened to the front. You got a deer. It'll last forever. Impervious to the weather, that's the beauty of it. And as I've told you before, with archery, you can have a lot of fun, and it doesn't matter how powerful your bow is, you'll love it if I fall down, won't you? Uh, because, you know, we don't edit much, do we? We'll just have Hickok falling on his butt on the video. Whoops, just about that. But you can have a compound bow that's really screaming, or even a, uh, a long bow that's really screaming. And with these modern targets like this, it just doesn't matter. It, uh, the arrow is not going to go through it, and they're pretty easy to pull out of. That's the key. And that's what I have picked up. Whenever I find these things on sale for like 20 bucks somewhere at Dick's or Walmart, I'll pick one up occasionally. And so over the years, I've, uh, I've had a, a built, built up a stash of them here enough to have a nice little woods walk. Let's put another one in that guy. Now that's one of the older ones, as you can see, rather faded. All right, you can't just use a bale of hay or a tree. <laughs> you don't want to hit a tree. Not with, uh, you know, I'm shooting probably 55, 60 pounds here. And uh, if I hit that fence post by mistake, reading that rotten log there, nope. I mean, I would be here for about uh, an hour trying to dig it out and I'd probably still have a ruined arrow. But see, the beauty is two hands or two fingers, you just pull it out. 
Now, some of these cannot appreciate that, but if, if you go back into the old styrofoam days, you know, back maybe 15, 20 years ago, people would shoot a styrofoam. And that stuff's hard to get it out of, but that was really the best they had for this kind of archery. And in the last 10 years, these deer and animal targets, and these bag targets have really come a long way. Now there's one I've got hanging in the back of the range, you can see. Now if you had not shot very much, this would be a bad angle to be shooting. Now watch me miss after saying that, because you'd never find this arrow, and it'd be ruined. You can see we're shooting into the backs of the uh, animal targets down there. Boom, all right. Now this particular bag right here, I think I picked up at Dick's for like $19. Two or three of those uh, several years ago. And again, two fingers, comes right out. If I were to miss, I'd be a sad boy because it, that air would be ruined probably, okay? Let's move on through here. Now I know what you really want to see me do is shoot the gong right there. <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. Now I recently added another one here. All right. It's just great to have something to shoot at where you know you're not going to damage your arrow. Woo! Let's put some all over him. One more for good measure. All right, that's supposed to be spinning. Like I said before, you don't want to shoot from farther away than you ought to be shooting. You want to know your limitations, okay? See, I just picked this one up at Walmart. That's a beaut. Pulls out so simply. No matter how much pound that you have on your bow, be easy to get out. You see that, Gunner? All right, so now that one I just recently uh, hung. Ooh, there's another ugly looking deer over there. Let's see if we can pop him. Now that one's been hanging there for a lot of years. All right. Headshot, I think. I believe it's going to have to be a headshot for he looks. Now, Gunner, behave yourself. Stay with us. All right, almost in the eyeball. <laughs> Now this is just a lot of fun. I mainly want to hit the target. Yeah, when uh, my friends and I go on 3D shoots, that shoots like this where you have the animal targets all through the woods. You pay 10 or $20 and uh, you actually compete, but we, we don't really care. We don't even keep score usually. It's just neat to be able to walk through the woods and have targets set where you can, it's like redneck golf or something. And we just want to hit the animal. You know, I mean, we're not really hunting. We just want to hit it. We don't want to lose an arrow, hit a tree. And that's kind of what I, I do. I just want to get the target, and uh, I don't have a lot of pressure here. It's not like anybody else is watching, right? Now this one's really old. Gunner, hey Gunner, come here Gunner, come here guy. That's good, you stay right there, that's good. This is one of my oldest targets. He's sitting on top of a, <laughs> a really old uh, 3D deer. Come here, Gunner. You better not shoot another one. Gunner, you're a nuisance. You're a nuisance. Yes, you are, buddy. Again, this is one of the really cheap ones, and uh, it's so old that the, the outer uh, cover there is beginning to, to where that one's actually going to have to be thrown out for too long. But it stops the arrow still, does the job. So, so obviously, if you if you do this, you're, you're kind of simulating hunting. I mean, it's not really hunting, but it's always fun to, to shoot at things in their natural habitat. Now, there's one right there. Should I take a shot at him? You knew I was going to do that. That would defeat everything I've been telling you. That would be a six, eight dollar arrow gone. Oh, I see another target. Let's, let's shoot this one from back here. Gunner, hey Gunner, stay here now. That one's been hanging there for many years as well. 
Ten y'all didn't even know that. You've been over here with us a few times. <laughs> All right. And by the way, these trails like this are trails that I use for uh, biking, you know, mountain biking and such. When I first bought this place, I used to uh, bush hog, which is a fancy name for a really powerful mower. Uh, all the flat part, but I've since let it grow up, and all I keep mowed really are trails, as you probably have noticed, because this is basically our playground, you know, for all, doing all the things we do, about biking, hiking, and everything, and so as long as we have trails through it, I just soon have woods myself, as opposed to fields. Are you seeing the game, Gunner? <laughs> Gunner doesn't know what we're up to. But obviously you don't have to have 20, 30, 40 acres to enjoy a bow, but uh, you can stick these targets up anywhere where it's safe, and, and again, don't get too far behind or too far away from it. You can have a lot of fun. And you can obviously put uh, paper targets over them, you know, like I have with the burlap. And we got one coming up here that's a little bit different uh, construction. I got it at a big archery shoot uh, several years ago. It's a little harder to pull out of, but it's, uh, it's a big old thing, and you see it has a big mule deer on it. Now this is pretty far away. It's a little deceptive, in fact. On the 3D shoots, uh, sometimes they'll put a giant elk out there, and uh, you think you're closer because it's big, so I will have a tendency to shoot low on this one. Well, how about that? Left and high. Overcompensated. It's pretty far away. There we go. That's where I want to hit, but I want to be a little bit higher. This one's going close to the kill zone. I can feel it. what I tell you? Right in there. All right. You now, most deer in Tennessee are pretty well trained. They will stay in place for you for at least three shots, so it's not a problem. Right, Joe? Right, Gunny? <laughs> Don't get my arrows. Ah. It's a little tougher. The guy that makes these uh, actually pours them. It's some kind of liquid. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, it, it sets up, and they're, they're CAD molded. It's a weird material there, but uh, they work pretty well. And uh, they're weatherproof, that's the beauty of it. But that's one of those uh, burlap targets I was telling you about that, that does a good job. So, you've got to have something that will slow down the arrow, not hurt the arrow. And uh, that's what these do. Well, look what I see. Some little kid left his soccer ball hanging out here. <laughs> Alright, we'll show him, or her. We'll just tear up their ball. Maybe. Well, look at that. Looks like a target almost. <laughs> it's amazing what you can find as a, an archery target. That one is compliments of, well, it's not compliments. I got it at Bass Pro. <laughs> it's all in the material, the high tech material. You gotta be strong enough to stop an arrow, slow it down, you have something you can actually pull the arrow out of. <laughs> that's that's key. So that's a pretty interesting little target. I thought that might be fun. Uh, I picked that up a few weeks ago. I don't know where I might hang that. Maybe in John's window or somewhere. The window of his windshield of his car. So we just brought that over for kicks. Uh, I usually keep that over near the house if I'm if I'm shooting, uh, slinging arrows. But anyway, that that's kind of my my woods route. And what I'll do sometimes I'll just come out on nice day like this you know in the fall especially archery is fun and uh, of course shooting's fun anytime and then I'll work my way back even I'll shoot some of the same targets on the way back perhaps and um, or just go down here and make another another circle you know around the ridge and make sure all those guys have been put out of their misery you know but uh, archery is uh, is a blast I have had a lot of requests to do more archery videos so I thought we'd just show you the kind of stuff I do and uh, 
that's larger than what a lot of the videos are. Can't say that's all of them, but it's uh, largely what uh, the videos are all about. It's kind of what we do, uh, just out shooting. We're just sort of uh, capturing it on video with maybe just a little bit more structure and hopefully a little bit of education. So again, this is a hybrid longbow by Hummingbird. It's a custom made bow and uh, about 10 years old. It's a wonderful piece of uh, craftsmanship and it feels like a glove. The beauty of this bow is it fits great in the hand is why I couldn't live without it and it doesn't vibrate. You know, when you get a bow that is, this is fairly light. I mean, this thing weighs nothing. Uh, some bows that are this light, when you pull it, it's like a cartoon. Like if you ever seen those old cartoons, you, you shoot the arrow and you know, it's just vibrating like crazy. But man, not these. So anyway, uh, glad you guys have come along with me. So uh, that's a little more archery for you, a little woods walk. Life's good.